Hi guys, um, another quick update. Uh, Sunday, the 20 something of April. Oh no, you're going to ask me now. Uh, 27th, is it? Something like that, anyway. Uh, in fact, it's not, it's the 26th, isn't it? Um, anyway, this is the polyton as it looks at this moment in time. Uh, it's on the evening, it's around about just after 6 o'clock. Um, things are looking all right. Been working out uh, at the back, and I'll do a quick video of that a little later and splice it onto the end of this. But I just wanted to quickly do show you this. Um, this little tub, yeah, was sat down there, and it was directly above one of my grapevines, which I'd obviously cut the end, and it's been what I call bleeding. This is the bleeder. This pot here was actually full of liquid up to about here just noticed it so these are runner beans that i actually grew last year and um kept the seed i've got hundreds of seeds so if anyone really ever wants any i can send bloody packets of it look at them it's absolute tons of them and i use them every year and they're all perfectly fine i've got that's a little bit plump but that would be the normal sort of size and texture and feel. That is ridiculous. It's softish to touch and it's swelled so much. Look at the size difference. It's exactly the same. These are all the same. Unbelievable. <laughs> so what I'm going to do, I'm going to get a pot of soil. And there's some more in here as well that are just as big. I mean, look at them. I mean, they're just... And I'm going to actually put them in. And I'm just going to see what I get. And I'm going to pick a few of them. There's another one here. And, you can prop and this definitely proves it because they're quite dark. But you can definitely... Not very good with the camera, but there you go. Look, that's got the mockled sort of surfacey colours that... That seed has, and you can see that's pretty damn big. Um, so yes, I'm gonna have a little play and see what I can do. Um, and actually, whilst I'm here, let me put them down there safely. Um, I, I think I said originally I was worried about butternut squashes. Well, I don't need to be anymore. It's just me worrying, panicking. Must be just me getting old and whatever. They've all come through, and actually I'm a windowsill at home, I've got, I mean, cucumbers are coming through now, even though I've planted over a load yesterday, mark it more, some more courgettes, these are some more, these are special ones actually, uh, they're double coloured, uh, um, it's white and um, a brownie colour, like a six and a six, it's a like a chine, um, I'm trying to think of the name of it. Anyway, somebody's given me them to try, so I'm going to start trying them beans. Um, so yeah, everything's doing okay here. Those tomato plants. I've done some blue lakers gone. Runner beans haven't come up yet. Plenty of time. Nasturtiums are coming up now. I think I've got rid of ratty. Oh, but these are the other things. The other butternut squash. They're coming up nicely. I'm going to have tons of them now. These as well, which I've potted on. They were ones that are home and they got a bit leggy. So I've put them in here and the true leaves are coming now. So they in the air pots. And some courgettes here. And there. Because um, I do like courgettes. I buy a lot of courgettes now. Some more here. Uh, tomatoes, tomatoes, tomatoes. I've just bought the um, last two of these tr jumbo trays from Wilco. Not necessarily to be used this year, but I've bought them because I'm finding actually these are much better than the smaller trays that I keep using. They keep breaking down. The, I think to be perfectly honest, I've thrown them a lot away now. They're even more flimsy. Although they, these will get a tray and, and, a, and what's it? Um, capillary, capillary matting. And I can do <clears throat> mix it or mix and match. Um, the other tray that I was using is outside. 
Let me just show you what I meant by that. Right, this one here. I've left some tomato plants left in there, but I've got turnips that's coming up. Purple spray and broccoli. We just share those two are free, and that is, and these are going to be beetroots. Beetroots. Those are all um, chili peppers and all that. These are spring onions. Which I think some are coming up. Spring onions just don't seem to be wanting to go. So I found it actually a lot easier to do. Um, and I'm, I am. It's got a tray underneath, and that. so I'm finding those easier to use, and. I'd rather use those. I mean, these I've had. I've had actually these for 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 a few years. Actually, these have worked out okay. These are okay, but they've started to split. The ones I'm actually meaning, I think, are, are ooh, these type of these type of ones, and they just cheap. Will go pound for four or three or whatever it is. They just break and it's i don't want to keep putting plastic in uh, recycling so i will use them as much as i possibly can but i think these last a lot longer and they're in one place and all the rest of it that's my thought process um actually this half getting longer and longer uh when i come down from home i bought a load of stuff from the shed um and these are what you normally get in the garden centres. These are the actual holders. Uh, and you usually buy like one of these for, you can like buy five for ten or something like that. And it's normally got like uh, ten cauliflowers in or ten broccoli or whatever. So I'll keep those. Um, so yes. I might as well do the whole lot now, I think. <laughs> Just watered everything up here. All the onions and that. Everything's looking okay. The ones from last year are all here as well. Your fruit trees are doing okay. This bed I got done. Just got to fill it up with some soil. I'm using it as a cutting there. Uh, or, um, cutting support at the moment, as you can see. Uh, simple reason is because these need to be cut because some more onions and the garlic is doing okay. So there's garlic and then some onions and some weedicus. <laughs> so, yeah, that is. Careful garden. So there you go. Anyhow, speak to you guys later. Cheers, bye. Hi guys. Um, second part of the update. Top half. Um, I think I got up to here. Uh, square foot garden. You'd see potatoes, uh, onions. This is all practically the same. I've let uh, somebody have some uh, rhubarb because uh, I haven't, uh, I'm not going to be using it this matter in time. Broad beans are still alive, which I put in a few days ago. Uh, PPPs are showing. Peas are showing. There you go. Peas are showing. So, there you go. Weeds are showing. Little chickweeds. It's not too bad though. Uh, broad beans aren't showing. I would, didn't, wouldn't have thought they would be showing yet. At least you can tell when these things start to come up. Nothing yet. That's fine. Peas are showing anyway. Which is good stuff. So all these weedy Uh Yep, broad beans there. Just got to take the top off this. And um, this is what I've been working on again today, on and off. Uh, I'm trying to get this all done, uh, preferably by the middle of next week, or this week coming, should I say. Um, these are the boards that are very close to the edge. The simple reason is because these were 11, just over 11 foot. So I had to cut them down to 109. 
Uh, it was under the norm and it's 327, yeah. So I'll get three out. But actually it means then, um, when I get this piece of wood, I can nail them to it or screw them to it. Like so, and then I can do some slats down the front. Oh, it's that white bit there. I can sort some make out with that. But then, and here, we'll have two here and here, because I'm not having the internal posts there. Uh, and the same running up here, and I have got some more of that behind there, because these were the old, uh, as you can see, uprights there. If not, I might pinch some from over there. Now I'll ask first, see what he says. See if he's got some spares. I'm sure I can get some wood from somewhere, which isn't expensive. Uh, and so, um, yes, in this end, I'll uh, put a great big piece on there. Big sturdy piece, it's the end piece, so that's really sturdy now. And, uh, and then just get some more pieces on the end. And, and that's it really, and just carry on. Um, I mean, you can see that it's probably running a little bit out, but, oh God. Compost ain't gonna worry about that, is it? As long as I can get the front down. Um, it is it is vertical. I'm pretty sure it was vertical. What was the last time I checked? Oh, it's as vertical as I'm ever gonna get it. It ain't a building. Uh, yeah, it's not far off. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, it'll do. It'll do. We ain't gonna bloody fall over. That's the main thing, I think. So, so yes. Um, so hopefully we can get all of that done. Well, at least two bays. I've worked out I've got enough wood to do each one across. And then I've got to go and uh, see if I can get a load of wood for the slats. And I'm going to make them in two two parts. Uh, so one slat, slide it down so it'll be halfway up and then the next one on the top. And then we can start uh, putting some membrane on the insides. Uh, and then um, start doing some composting properly. I'm emptying all this rubbish out here and actually seeing what's in it, to be perfectly honest. And then I've got this massive mound there to dump in there. Um, but I've lost a drill bit. <laughs> I don't know where the hell it's gone last night. I'm sure I put it all there because I've been quite meticulous in putting things back in boxes, but um, yes. I've probably buried it, it's probably one of the supports there, but hey ho, at least it's got a good life, it's going to be part of the compost. But yes, so there you go guys. I'm going to call it a day uh, now. I'm going to have some tea. Uh, and hopefully tomorrow we'll be back again. Um, might do an update tomorrow, depending on how much I've done. If not, I'll do an update a bit later in the week, because I know it gets a bit repetitive. So, uh Cheers, guys. I'll speak to you later. Bye.